make sure everything is working. Oh, Samuel, you put this in the entire channel, long channel, I'll move everything over. Thanksgiving 2000, all ESO streams are Twitch drop enabled during this event. Interesting. Let's double check if they're telling us the truth. Shall we? I'm gonna flip out. Yeah, look at that. I has drops. Woo! Good to know. Drops his head. All right. I shall be your source of news and entertainment today. Uh, don't forget to go, if you have ESO Plus, on both servers, both PCNA and PCEU, if you, if you have PC, um, make sure you go into your Crown Store and go to ESO Plus, get ESO Plus deals, Chiquita Banana, and I'm here to say yes. Uh, and make sure you get your statue, the Morwa statue, but also this is free. The Priestess of Mara is free. So make sure that you grab that on both servers. I think guys can wear it. Hey, Jemima. Um, I did not watch that cooking special. I hope it was good. All right, so a message from Gina on the 24th, which I probably should have updated you on before now. Um, the team is working on the, the issue with uh, Miss Brazil. Uh, the team is working on the issues of um, housing permissions, and they say they hope to get it into the next scheduled incremental patch. When they have a date set for that patch, they'll let everybody know. Until then, we're screwed. <laughs> Just thought I'd share. All right, we're on EU. I decided to go into EU first because there's more houses on EU because you folks don't have uh, American Thanksgiving going on and thus you are actually working on your homes. Um, this is Gustel M's house. Uh, they're antiquarian, obviously. And I really like this design here. That's quite beautiful. Um, I would add a tiny bit of light here, just because you can't really see Fizzes, and you have a lovely cobble right here, and it's hard to see. So give Fizzes a light. Otherwise, this looks lovely. Oh, look at the bookends. How well that's used. Oh, yeah, potatoes open. Go ahead and enter. And we have a museum, I think. Always nice to see a museum. Gives me all the monies. So Thanksgiving was good. My husband is the best husband in the whole world. I was feeling terrible. My idea was I was going to help him cook. Um, but there were two problems with that. The first one is I was in bad, bad shape. And secondly, a lot of it I couldn't do because a lot of it was peeling and using knife work. And when I'm, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't really like me using uh, knives. He sort of considers himself the sous chef because uh, with my arthritis and my other problems physically, it's really easy for me to hurt myself. So this is all closed off, so it must be outside. Um, so I, he ended up doing most of it and he was on a Zoom call with his family that lasted forever. Multiple Zoom calls with his family that lasted forever. Um, and I think that uh, I was trying to try to kind of trying to avoid being part of that. Oh, that's pretty. It just was not a thing I wanted to be a part of. So I hid. Um, but what's wrong? 
We have drops. We have drops, Torber. You know, want to hear something funny is when I was feeling sick yesterday, and I watch a lot of streams. I really do. But I actually loaded up Torber's stream because he wasn't streaming to watch one of his Silent Hill streams that I missed the rest of. And the reason why I did that is mainly because, it, and if you don't um, follow Torber, you should. He's got this really soothing kind of tone. He's very laid back and, hey, Xanasis, um, quiet, gentle almost sounding. So he's really great. Yeah, the, it dies really well. This outfit dies super well. So this is lovely. RK in front of the statue. So he's he's great. And so I was watching him during my not feeling so good time. The food was delicious. My husband did a phenomenal job. And I'm very lucky woman. I'm very appreciative. And I'm very lucky. And I hope to make it up to him at some point. Although he'll be like, you don't have to make it up to me because I made it for me too. But it's true, Torber. I really did. I, I, I honestly did load up your video and I was watching uh, more of Homecoming. Um, still trying to kind of get my head around that story. It's really amazing how gripping and interesting and confusing that story is. And I'm trying to figure out what exactly is it about it Actually, both of the stories, both of the stories I've watched with you, I'm trying to figure out what it is. Is that effects? Yeah, that's got to be fog. Look at how nice that looks, the fog over the water. That looks really good. It looks almost like the light is just striking it. I highly recommend you um, use effects in that way. Smugglers, maybe? Maybe just normal stuff? I guess part of me is confused about how anyone could do anything that awful to their family and what they thought they got out of it. And so that's, uh, that's part of why I'm interested in it. So a little spot for eating. We've got a lovely little home here with a construction area over here, or a crafting area over here. And I don't think there's a second floor unless I'm blind, which is possible. Oh, you're welcome, MDM. No problem. I gave MDM double because my cat does not say hi. My cat is not here. I gave MDM a uh, double because of Thanksgiving. All right. Let's look at... Para wait, no. Wait, what? Ah! Stabby. Nywin. Is Nywin on yet? We'll skip Nywin until Nywin's on. And then we'll go to Goblin, Slaver's Woods, Boulder Tree, Spark. Do you like the hat, Ola? My fruit hat? I couldn't do the uh, pumpkin pie. We gotta give that one a rest for a while. We won't wait a whole year, but. This is not a terribly flattering one, but that's okay. I think my, my hair go, woo. All right, Slaver's Woods. Spooky. Spooky nighttime, dangerous woods. Be careful, everyone. Sorry about my stream dying yesterday. Um, seemed to be on the Twitch's end, not mine. Maybe everybody and their brother was streaming for Thanksgiving, which is really an odd thought because you would think it would be the opposite. Oh, what's this? 
You would think everybody would be taking off to cook or spend time with family or whatever. Voice from Cave. I'm very busy. Please come later. No. We break in now. Now. No, oh, I can't break in. What the hell? That ain't right. This is going to be one of those houses where I can't figure out how to get in, isn't it? People make things too challenging for stabbies. Oh, someone else here. Hello. Hello, Jay Rumberg. All right, let's go. Since Nyuan's not here, but we will go to their Maris Kiss. Because why not? So, um, today, I think, is Jay Hart's contest. Is it today? For the, for the thingies? Let me double check. 27th. DDA celebrations for feasts. I'm all right. How are you? It's bit, tomorrow is Mark Hearth Goods, the 28th. So, this is Nywin's. And Nyawin tends to do really traditional homes, although he's been cha they've been changing it up lately, um, with cultural themes. So this one is, is obviously a high elf theme because it's in, uh, it's in, whatchamacallit, words, words are hard. It's in Maris Kiss, which is in uh, Volkogard. I'm still waking up. Still have this much coffee left, so please be aware. Stabbies are not at full effect yet. Nicely done. I like the butterflies. By the, They almost look like moths by a flame. All right. Do I have any favorites over here? No, I think they're all over on the other... All right, geez. Cut him back over. We're gonna have to work on a house today, I'm telling you, at this rate. So what's left, I'm not doing the home goods because I don't have the faintest idea what I would do for that. I don't know about you folks, but I just don't have an idea at all. Good morning. I could do a workshop hobby studio. I have a couple days left for that. It won't be very good, but I can do one. It'll be like every other one that I've ever seen, right? Now, Mark Hearth Homes Goods, isn't that just two things? Isn't that just, um,. the broom and the pots and pans, I think. I gotta look. Maybe three. Oh, it's also the plate and a Reach Folk banner, Mark Hearth. We could try to make a chandelier. 
I won't enter it because it'll be crap, but I can try. There's no lights involved, but if you do it right, you could probably get away with it. Unobtrusive lighting, maybe add a plus one special collectible. Mount, pet, assistant, or house cat. House guest. So if you hide the plate. Yeah, it's it's the broom, loaf pan, plate, banner. Let's give it a try. Let's play with it and see what we can do. Right? And if nothing else, we can play around with EHT uh, making shapes. He did not specify about EHT in the second one. That could be a problem. I think people are going to have differing opinions about what what kind of EHT would be usable in that second one. And that can make a big difference in terms of lighting. See, if I did things my way, I would be really annoying. <laughs> I would be so annoying. I would be really like rules oriented because it's just in my nature because of uh, my lawyer background, right? All right, let's go to what the feast. I didn't see what happened with the feast. All right, let's go to um, Chef Cookie's Cyrodelic. I didn't see the feast one. Did it not go well? No, but the rules don't specify for uh, EHT. Uh, in fact, he says, send me your, send me your effects if you have it. Oh, 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 yeah. All right. So this was published today. This is Chef Co Cookie's, I don't, who I don't know. It might be Cookie. Zero. And a nice little pretty garden. It's nighttime, so it's hard to see a lot of things. Right. EHT effects, mainly uh, a portal. Using some of the new items. Like I said, we're really limited on a, and it, oh look, a nice little halloween -y stuff still. We're really, um, sure, sure will. Oh, that's lovely. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, wow, the flowers. Those are gorgeous. What a nice garland. That looks really good. Really nice, uh, what do you call it? Cu clutter. Words are hard. Oh, a book. Fantastic Feast Thanksgiving Menu. Roasted wild game with cranberries, apple and sage stuffing, wild rice pilaf, cauliflower au gratin, roasted orange glazed beetroot, wild boar and tomato kebabs, sauteed garlic mushrooms, candied sweet potatoes and crockery pot, assorted artisan bread, assorted dessert served with mead and assistant or and something white wines. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Hey, research. Beautiful. Nicely done. Yeah, I'm happy to check out anything you want. There's not a lot here uh, for me to look at other than three houses. All right, let's go to Azalea Stone. Thank you, Bills at all. I couldn't figure out which, what that was. 
what that was. All right, Azalea Stone, which did you say it was? Black Pine Villa. Beautiful, cozy home, I like that a lot. Yeah, I haven't been <clears throat> paying attention to Jay Hart's stuff very much lately, and it's nothing about him. I'm happy to see it, Research. I have plenty of time. I don't have a lot of entries. Whoa, I'm kind of turned around here. Hey, Aridin. Um, So we've got a ton of uh, fabric entries kind of blocking our view. With I'm going to say that's David Brock in the background. I can't tell for sure. What an interesting entryway. Hmm. I want to hold off on the goods because that, that one hasn't happened yet. So I don't want to spoil anything for Jay Hart's stream. So somebody, I mean, it's pretty obvious you redid this with both. Uh, wow, that's one hell of a shandy. Uh, you redid this with a combination of a bunch of things clockwork dwarven but then there's also antiquity stuff and a case a couple of just ra regular items but wow all right sounds good to me oh nice use of the effects by the way they're eating they're eating the little cogs. They look like cookies to them. Yeah, you know what? You did something different and there's something to be said for that. Oh, that's amazing. He's, he's lined up at the buffet with the little guy next to him behind him. What do we have in here? I gotta peek. Oh, that's like a oil punch. <laughs> Oh, wow, and that has a knife in it and everything. Wow, that is really nicely done. This is like a salad bowl almost. You did a really creative thought, thinking thing here. Gravy? Okay, that makes sense. I didn't know if it was punch or gravy, but it certainly looks like it could be either, but yeah, gravy. This is super clever. <coughs> And very subtle, good use of effects. And see, this is the kind of thing that I, oh, I love your floor. I could see myself doing because I have this, you, you guys know, I'm silly. Oh, wow. That door is not expected. I like it. Um, I just, oh, I see what you did. You have us in the antiquity building. Thing is, I have such a silly bone in me i i have to, such a silly streak i mean really that i could see myself going with a whole theme like this that's very silly um but yet you did such an amazing job on it you know what i mean like it's not it's not like you just slapped some things together you actually cobbled and did some beautiful things but i do like the fact that it's it's got that silly bone in it it's funny really good job all right, let's go to uh, Research Monkey, who should be on my friends list. There we go. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, good job, Azalea, really. That's, and, you know, for the silliness of it, I give it five stars for that, too, because... That's my favorite. <laughs> That's how I roll. Is this inside or outside? All right, I'll, I'll get the poem. Here you go. I'll read it. You read the first half, then turn on the punch bowl, then read the second half. Okay, you got it. Outside, left side, Eleanor Pergola. Uh, okay, let's head on over. 
Oh, lovely. Oh, there's bunnies. My husband would be so pleased. Oh, you did the jelly gelatin again. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. I've, you've used that once before and I adored it. Okay, let me do your poem. J. Hart Ellis feasts tonight. So gather round for a tasty bite. This modest feast does not impress, but let's put my food to the test. A slice of cake, a piece of pie, some jelly trifle, don't be shy. In gilded pole, a refre in gilded bowl, a refreshing punch, a perfect end to a perfect lunch. Now I have to turn on the bowl. triggering events, but I don't know what. What am I looking for? Oh, holy crap. <laughs> That's huge. Oh my God. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Reading the rest. You wake in fright from vivid dream then and see the table. Then you scream. This feast is foul with rotting meat. Worms and maggots are not a treat. The bones and skulls of your friends now strewn about as your belly distends. Remember well this fantastic feast and don't forget you are what you eat. Excellent job. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna show this to my husband later. He's such a fan of yours research. Oh, what? this is really wild. Look at the, look at the bugs sunken in so that they show up the heart this is fantastic what fun both of you what fun good job research that's scary yeah but i i do have a i do have a thing about your your oh no 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 i understand i was gonna show them the video i understand i know i know how these things work now but thank you. No, but it's still, it took cleverness and you have to know EHT well enough to do it. And I do like the poem as well. Yeah. The poem is pleasing. Okay. I have two more houses to show you in NA. Unless, oh, you don't like the fruit? I see how it is. I see how it is. So I will be a pilot. <laughs> <gasps> oh no, that's terrible. That's all right. I don't mind. We'll get around to it or other stuff eventually. Nicely done. Okay. Okay, so let's look at uh, this one, Dareth's Antiquarians, the other one. See, guys, what I do for you. <laughs> You're right. The pilot is facing the wrong way. <laughs> it wasn't bad poetry. It was good poetry. You're totally right. I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> We're gonna crash, folks. We're gonna crash. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's gonna make me sick, too. It's like this really. I'll try to stay as still as possible. <laughs> oh, thank you. I work at it because, you know, everybody's creations deserve a certain amount of. Uh... Is it a boat? No, this is a plane. If I had to. I'm going with plane here because that's an airport in the back. Yeah, that's a plane. <laughs> it was. And thank you for coming up with something that complex. I mean, I know you say it was simple to do, but still. Okay. So we've got, I think, a museum. I didn't check this one out. All I did was uh, see if it had enough items. So. This will be the second just ordinary in terms of not for a contest home that we've looked at. And then we'll have to 
Look at that. That took me a minute to put two and two together, that those are actually the floaty Sigic ones. Floaty Sigic. Sure. Sure. I'll always read your poetry and books and stuff. I am... I am willing to show something in the context of put upon which you want it. It's sort of why I'm so insistent about having EHT on. It's like, if you do work um, to have something presented a certain way. I don't want to look at anyone's Mark Hearth goods yet because uh, it's going to spoil the contest. But what I could do is... I can go back to it when I have his poem uh, after the contest. I just don't want to spoil it for Jay Hart or you guys. Um, I kind of feel like I'm, I do that enough as it is. <laughs> kind of spoil his stuff. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. But I definitely do kind of, oh, okay. I do kind of blow it for his for his tour sometimes. All right. So this is just a, it's, to me this is a museum. Oh, okay. See, that's what I like, Azalea. Okay. He's a good reader too. He gets into it. I appreciate his reading. Well, I'm not surprised, to be honest with you. It's a very restrictive contest. I think it's going to, it's, it was a, it's, he's getting more restrictive instead of less. And I'm not a fan, which is why I'm not entering. I would like bigger, broader concepts. Oh gosh. No, I'm not gonna sing it. Where's DDA? Somebody's whistling. I don't know what's going on. All right, I'm not gonna show this one because this one is actually just for EHT showing you how to do it because um, it's just that good of an EHT example. But uh, let me see if I've gotten his poem yet. Here we go. Reading Research Monkey's poem. Mark Hearth Home Goods. You love ESO and find housing fun, but you lack the gold to impress anyone. Well, here's your solution, so gather near. Rejoice, everyone, Jay Hart Ellis is here. His gold-making tips will make you grin, and there's contests aplenty for you to win. His home goods contest is cheaper than sin, with four little items you can begin. To a very obrasac you must go, his shop in the reach where prices are low. A dwarven broom for sweeping the floor. Some salvage plate to frame your door. Dwarven loaf pan for baking bread. And reach for banner to honor the dead. Take your haul off to your house. And build yourself a giant mouse. Or ship that sails off into the night. Perhaps a robot ready to fight? Whatever you build, you will need more of these items. Oh yes indeed. So back you go with golden hand from a vario brassac, more items demand. And as you build, feel your fever increase. More items are needed to achieve release. And back you go again and again to a vario brassac until you're insane. <laughs> as they cart you away in jacket so straight, you wonder how this became your fate. Vario brassac speaks with pity to you. Tis easy to see and here's the clue. For Jay Hart Ellis is master of the tale. He has taken a cut of every sale. That is 
brilliant at the end. I love it. <laughs> That's great. Oh my gosh, that last bit, that kills me. Oh my God, that is so good. <laughs> Oh, I understand, research. You're fine. I know your situation. I would also. I never take it personally if people don't stop by for live stuff. I understand people have lives. I don't, but people do. Oh, come on! It's funny. And it's so probably true on some level, if it could be, if it was possible, I could totally see him doing it. So see here, I already bought the plate. So I've got some plate to work with. And then I should have in Grimhearth Woe, I have two pans. I don't know if I'm going to use the pans. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use some, I'm pretty, screw, okay, Ludwig Anton makes me angry because he jacks prices up. Um, Heart Garlic, thank you for the follow. Oh, I'm sorry people are angsting. Doubtful. If they have me muted, it's because of me, not you. And that's okay. <clears throat> so let's go, let me show you where, in case you don't know, uh, where the home goods vendor is. So you get off the, uh, this is where you get off the portal. It's back where the shops are. And then... That's true. And then you see it right here. That's where it is. I think I'm going to try my first um, Shandy, though. Why not, right? I don't have any good ideas for it, but we can try playing with things until we come up with something, right? This is the achievement furniture. We don't want to go with him because he's a... Uh, this is the not the stuff that he's talking about that we can use. However, um, this is some really beautiful stuff. Like, I could totally see a chandelier made with this. It'd be really interesting. Which one that he means is this one here. A Vario Brassac. And <clears throat> here are the brooms. So I'm going to just buy, like, 20 of those. And then... I know what I could use this for. I'll buy one of these. Bye. Good morning, Six. And then the last one is the Dwarven Loaf Pans, which, why the hell not? I'll buy 20 of those too. You know what helps with that? Starting it. Dead serious. I know it sounds crazy, but instead of angsting, take a step of just either planning like write down in a list what you need to do <clears throat> they totally do i mean that's my theory on it is is definitely try working on it <clears throat> see how it goes all right what house can i use that's let's build it here Mm. Probably should have done it on the island instead of this one. <clears throat> this one's hard to get through. I'm not a fan of these. I kind of almost don't want to submit it because I resent uh, the restrictions. But I know that he's trying really hard and I like him a lot. Uh, he just ignores me whenever I make suggestions and my suggestions are... D don't do it this way. <laughs> oh, 
Well, then make, tell her to go do the first step and it'll make her feel better. Speaking as somebody with terrible anxiety, I have horrific anxiety. Just getting started often helps. All right, so let's go over here. And then let me teach you some stuff about EHT in case you're curious and you want to do it yourself. Uh, first of all, place this item. You can do place this item. Place these 20 items. Just write, not in the, don't go into the, uh, the editor. Don't hit F5. Just open your inventory and hit place these 20 items when you right click. And then it'll put, a, put them down for you. then you don't have to like individually click them each. And then I'm gonna move forward so that it places the next set somewhere else. So we'll put the pans here. Okay, good night research. Thanks for letting me see that. It was fun, it was really fun. We're just going to play around with this and see what happens. Ah, switch filters. I'm not a pilot anymore. I see how it is. All right. We're going to go all the way back to the boring beginning because that's what I do. You never see me with my hair pulled back. I'll, I'll put it down again. There. Uh, I need to get some lights too. So let's put these down and then I'll get some building lights. This is actually good. This will make me actually build something. I've been really putting it off for so long because I haven't really felt inspired. So this will help a lot. Okay, let me grab some lights. In case you didn't know, I store, I separate everything by type. So there's different, <clears throat> each of my houses have different kinds of things. Like this is all non-enchanted lights in here. These are regular lights. Painful regular lights, but lights nonetheless. All right, what kind of lighting do I want? These are really bright. These will work for building. These are excellent for lights. All right, not sure what I'm gonna put in the middle yet, but my guess is one uh, probably, let's go to the House of the Silent Magnifico, which is where I keep all of my enchanted lights. All right, let's pick one, one unobtrusive light to be the centerpiece. That'll probably work. It'll be bright enough, but not obvious that it is something like that. Gosh, I wish I could use really good items like this, but I can't because of the limitations. All right, back to the island. Let's get started. <clears throat> I've heard a 
lot of people saying they want this house to come back again. I gotta tell you, I know very few people who have been able to actually build with this house. It's, it's got its limitations. My, mainly the limitations are that it has um, really kind of annoying uh, walls, like invisible walls and ceilings are quite, I mean, it's in some ways it's kind of amazing with how much they have space-wise, but then in other ways it's very, very limited and that's really frustrating. But what are you going to do? All right, that should be it for that. And then I want to use this as the ceiling connection. <clears throat> so this will be the base of our shandy. And we'll do place. And then what I'm going to do is precision edit I'm going to do straighten, but it's probably going to flip it. No, it didn't flip it. Cool. Oh, whoops. So in case you don't know how to precision edit, you hit F and then you can use the different things down here. So like straighten the line, cursor mode. Uh, but the thing is you have to hit enter again or click your left one again in order to make sure that it actually does what you ask it to do. So there's that. And then I'm going to put the light up there. We'll just say it's right there. Unobtrusive, right? And now we're going to make some... Actually, let's take a look at... Uh, I want to show you the some of the better... If she still has it up. Um, some good, really good examples on one place is... Airy Summer. I'm spelling her name wrong. How am I spelling her name wrong? I know who she is. Airy Heart Lily. Is she Airy Heart Lily, Lily now? There she is. I'm spelling it wrong. She's really good with chandeliers. But usually the thing about chandeliers is usually the most interesting bits of it are the use of unexpected items, right? So these aren't really unexpected. But whatever. She has lots of good ones. Here's one. It's not a gorgeous chandelier. It could be as simple as that, just something hanging off trees in a beautiful way. Um, here's, a, here's some more. To give you some ideas of what I'm talking about. And those are tops of um, Breton urns. So that's what I'm saying is, is, is like things can be very unexpected when you're talking about chandeliers. Um, and usually that's what makes it the best is that it's unexpected or at least just different. And yeah, there's tons of cobbles in here that I'm not going to show you all of them. What I wanted to show you were, were the lights specifically, but there's dresses, there's NPC type dealies. Um, the thing is, is about this is, you know, you've got sh shiny things. Shiny things work really well. Uh, lot, multiple lights work really well. We're not going to be able to do that here. This one is really spectacular. Although it gives me ideas about what I could do with the pans if nothing else goes right. This one is like so mesmerizing. I'm kind of like zoning out just looking at it. And I believe she made these on stream. On her stream. So those are some ideas that you can work with. 
she is she's fantastic at them and i am a beginner so we're gonna go from the best to a beginner <laughs> and, and that's gonna be a scream what am i gonna say i mean it's the truth I've never built any chandeliers before yeah it is it really is I'm pretty sure she probably already has an idea by the time she starts building. Um, check all of her houses, Aradin, because that are posted, <clears throat> because she has them. Hmm. She has them in multiple houses. I have a weird idea. All right, petals. All right, we're gonna do select all items, same as target select we got all the dwarven plates let's do builds let's do mm, spiral but 30 items we're gonna want two meters hello <clears throat> we're gonna do actually we should reset so that gives you an idea of what it looks like base Actually, that's too many items, but actually working up there is kind of nice. Gives you an idea of... So, I don't want it to be a two radius. I mean, a three radius. So, two radius should work fine. Two radius. Maybe a one radius? Let's, treat, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that one pulls it closer together. I have 30 items. I could do more or less, I don't know. Let's do negative one. And see what negative ones do. actually the opposite of what I wanted to do. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to change this to one and one. What? What? That's better. Nope, too close. Let's do two and two. Actually, 1.5 and 1.5. Can I get see the hole in the middle? No. Two, it's got to be two. This is how you do it. You just play with it until it does what you want it to do. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. some amazing houses it depends on whether you want to go scary or not but i've seen both types scary and not scary um 
to do incredible things. I mean, it really depends on... I, I mean, it depends on you. Like, I could show you... Scary ones and not scary ones, you know? Now, this is obviously too big. I'm going to have to figure out some way to make it less big. You're gonna laugh at me, but I'm starting over. I have an idea that might be different. Mine is uh, an aquarium. There's lots, or not aquarium, but uh, colored aisles, but there's lots of different things that a people have lived on with it. It can be, I mean, it's a sandbox, so it can be pretty much anything. No one can tell you Um, well, then I'll just give you a quick look at probably the best scary one there is. As for a pretty, oh, there's so many. <clears throat> I couldn't even begin to tell you, but there's lots. Yeah, I've seen the massive maze. I can't do mazes, otherwise I would say that's how true. That's good. But this is uh, this is Greek vamps. Scary house. As you can see, there's a castle up there. You kind of have to look. Uh, I hope you get to see this tour because this is an example of what I'm talking about. And then once we get up there. Uh, we can move on to a pretty one. So yeah, people have done massive, massive builds. And then you have, you know, an actual house in here. So if you ever want to see this, this is Greek Vance. Um, Very much. <clears throat> I've seen some incredible gardens here too. I don't know if Harry took this build down. She may have taken this build down. It's entirely possible. Nope, she left it up. Here it is. This is uh, this is Aries' example of what she built here. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't maze. So this is an example of something less evil looking. But you could do almost anything here. It's wide open. Yes, anything glowy is nice.
And then this is, uh, just real quick, this is mine. Give it a second to, for the EHT to load. It's not perfect. I built it a long time ago, but you can get the general sense is it's the colored rooms. So it's all kept coral and flowers and plants and uh, fish and frogs and things like here. You don't necessarily have to build a house house. You can always build something different. And here you go, something different, right? So there you go. Now, what I was thinking about this is instead of um, doing it the way I did it, I was thinking I could make little flowers. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. You know? That's my, my purpose in life. Now, when I'm building, a lot of you know what I do is I do rough drafts so nothing is perfect until and even then sometimes it isn't perfect but uh, nothing is going to be perfect until it's done but the idea being that um, I get to test different things out without worrying about being perfect on the first try right sometimes you just want to be you just want to try things you don't want to like worry about it being perfect and That's kind of what I want to do here is just mess with it a little, see what I get without using EHT because I see the problem. That's not out far enough. There we go. I'm gonna get him. I get him. Okay. And there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that. Good morning, Franco. And we're gonna do, let's move all items as a group. And we're gonna flip this and see how it looks. As a flower. Whoopsie. Again, this is just uh, me testing. This is not me saying this is where we're going to end up. Ugh, I hate when I hit the wrong button, which happens a lot because I suck.
That looks like shit. I love it. <laughs> I love that it looks like shit. <laughs> because it, it just takes all the pressure off to make something good. <laughs> It'd look better with more plates. But it does look terrible, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Where'd I put my pans? There they are. This is so bad. I don't know what to do about it, but it's so bad. You know, I'm glad it's bad because what's been happening is, is that when I start off with something bad, I give up and I don't want to give up. I want to keep going and I want to, I want to keep trying until I get what I want. You know what I mean? Like, Nothing's going to start perfect. Sometimes things just don't. Some things just don't look gorgeous from the beginning. And sometimes when they do look gorgeous from the beginning, it's because uh, people have planned them ahead of time, already know what they're doing, and already have them like, you know, essentially planned out perfectly and then move the, these guys so don't think that you you know if you're actually building live don't feel like you have to get everything right the first time because you don't it's what experimenting is when people experiment yeah i can i could do a lot of different things like that i think Alternatively, I could hold the whole dent, flip the whole thing over. To be honest with you, uh, here, I could flip the whole thing over and work work on it from a better viewpoint. Radius. Hello. Exactly. It's 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 one of those things that like in.